let's talk CBD and THC and why and if it's actually beneficial to take them together. here you already know by the title of the video by just being someone who is a cannabis lover that we are talking about CBD and THC. Now before I get into it because there's a lot of research going on, there's a lot of blog content out there, there's a lot of content out there in general. What I say in this video is just done personally on the research that I have done and I always encourage you to do your own research and this is just how I've interpreted the research on CBD and THC so if you have any comments and you want to add on to the conversation please comment below and then make sure to share with your friends because as of today this is what's new and what's happening and a major conversation and something that gets brought up in our retail shop and we get questions asked all the freaking time is does CBD actually help to bring down the high that is associated with THC. And you're gonna see a lot too of different kinds of one-to-one -one ratio products on the market, one-to-two ratio, ratio products in general on the market with CBD and THC, simply due to the fact, I think they're just becoming really wildly popular because people are looking for that more mellow experience. I like to use the analogy, the yin and the yang, CBD's the yin, THC's the yang, and when you find that good balance of yin and yang, you're gonna feel that balance within your body. And everyone's yin and yang is a little bit different as far as ratio goes, but really just up to you to find out what works best for you and for me personally I'll show you some products that I really like but me personally I am someone who's a big ratio person and I love CBD slash THC products when used together. What I want to cover though is just talk a little bit about CBD and THC and how it actually works in our body because if you know the background and the science behind it it's going to be easier to understand of why it's actually the case and if it's actually helpful and useful. CBD and THC are two major cannabinoids. They're both found in hemp and marijuana. In hemp, it's federally legal. It's higher concentrations of CBD, lower concentrations of THC, and in marijuana, it's the adverse. And marijuana obviously is not federally legal. It's what you're going to see in legal states. But here in Texas, we fall under the hemp bill. So everything that we sell and offer is coming from industrial Hemp. CBD and THC are often compared to one another like it's a competition and it's not really a competition they're both just they're same same but different you know what I mean THC is a psychoactive cannabinoid it also has a few other pain relieving benefits it also creates it stimulates your appetite for those wanting that CBD is non psychoactive so it's not going to make you feel high and it actually does not stimulate appetite so again those are just a few examples of how those cannabinoids differ but it's not a comparison game they're both really amazing and just it's how you use them together if you want to use them together and what that does for you. A term that you may be familiar with is the entourage effect. And the entourage effect simply states that things work better together than on their own. I'm going to read this really this quote from that I pulled from Leafly just because they did a really good job of explaining the entourage effect. They say the entourage effect takes into account the synergistic quality of different varieties to see which treatment works best for you. So again, entourage, you're really just using a plethora of different cannabinoids. Full spectrum is also something that you're going to see on the market, especially in the hemp market. That really just means it's a full plant profile. So CBD's in it, THC's in it, CBG, CBN, um, flavonoids, terpenes, really everything is kind of under that umbrella, but it's about the ratio and what is actually provided in there and where you're sourcing your products from. Definitely, I think, just like I stated before, you should experiment with your own entourage effect and your own cannabinoid consumption because every body is very, very different in how it reacts. Also wanted to point out, do not be afraid or don't feel like it's a silly question to ask what's going to benefit you. Your bud tenders, us at Restart, we love getting questions like that and we always are trying to educate ourselves and be at the peak of all of the research that is going on in cannabis because there is so much to follow and being a consumer it's hard to follow it all so we want to be at your Sherpas, we want to be your educators and please ask us or ask another dispensary while you're there shopping maybe in a legal state and just ask questions. You know there's no, there's no dumb question if someone makes you feel dumb about it then shame on them. I wanted to also point out that there is a lot of great research on the entourage effect, but 
when hemp became federally legal, they're actually pretty closely afterwards, I'll have to look at the date, but pretty closely afterwards, a pharmaceutical, the first ever pharmaceutical prescription of CBD came available. It's called Epidiolex. And that company is a pure CBD, absolutely no THC product. They are deriving it from marijuana and not hemp. I believe there it's okay to do that because it's a prescription, but I could be wrong, but it's a hundred percent a pure CBD product and no other cannabinoids are in it. Whether they've changed their formula since they launched, I don't honestly know, but they launched with the idea to help those dealing with epilepsy and CBD in higher quantities. And they produce a really high concentration of a product to offer their consumers. It does just that. So it's a really high concentrated CBD product and they've done the research to prove that it actually does help with those dealing with epilepsy. If you wanna do your own research on that, again, I am no doctor, but I know that it's on the market and it's a pure CBD product. So that just goes to show that, you know, the entourage effect, yes, it has its case and it definitely does work for a lot of people, but there is no shame in just isolating cannabinoids and taking them as you need them and that is our philosophy that's what we believe at restart and there just simply is not enough research to prove that one is better than the other at least at this point in time a little bit about how cbd and thc actually react in our bodies is everyone has an endocannabinoid system and in that system there are cbd1 receptors and cb2 receptors both of these receptors cbd and thc actually work directly on Typically, THC, it works on our CB1 receptor, while CBD works on our CB2 receptor. CB1 is expressed primarily in our nervous system, while CB2 is expressed in our nervous system, but also is expressed in our gut, in our tissues, in our immune system, which is why a lot of people find relief with and their anti-inflammatory properties. Does CBD actually counteract the high effects of THC? I came across a few articles and again, there's still research being done. From the majority of what I collected though, the answer short term is yes that it can help reduce that high. A few things to consider though, when looking to CBD to maybe counter, maybe you took too much THC, maybe you feel a little bit more high than what you actually wanted to be. You can use CBD to counteract that or kind of reduce that high, but there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. One, the type of CBD product used, high quality is gonna give you a better result. Two, your unique biology and genetics. Three is your intensity and nature of anxiety. Some of us are just naturally more anxious than others, so that is a huge component. And number four is probably one of the most important, it is your THC and CBD dosed ratio. You can use CBD and THC synergistically and at the same time, but it really just, everyone's very different. So it just matters how much CBD is actually going to help you out, if it'll help you out in the end. The last quote I want to read from Leafly as well, because that is where I found a good mix of information when I was researching is this one right here. So CBD modulates the receptor signaling associated with THC, which is why their co-presence has become so important in the field of cannabis therapeutics. Relevant to this particular discussion is CBD's ability to modulate excess cannabinoid activity in the brain, which can result in anxiety. This is why CBD can certainly mitigate the anxious paranoid side effects associated with THC overconsumption. I'm going to show off a few of the products that we offer at Restart right now. And since recording this, we definitely offer a few more. I can guarantee that there's more on the horizon. So let me just go through a few products that we offer that are ratioed products in case you are someone who is looking for that ratio product. Being in Texas, we offer both Delta 8 and Delta 9, depending on what you're looking for. Delta 8 is a little bit more of a body relaxation versus Delta 9 typically is more of a head high sensation. And so with our Delta 8, this is one example. We offer these citrus flavored gummies. They are a one-to-one -one ratio, 20 milligrams of Delta-8 and 20 milligrams of CBD. So it's 40 milligrams in total. Me personally, I'm a lightweight. I am ashamed of it, but 20 milligrams of Delta-8 for me is, it's on my upper limit if I'm being quite honest. So probably I would cut something like this in half and just consume it that way. But this is an example of a one-to-one -one ratio that we carry. These other two products are both Delta-9 CBD ratioed products. This one, the milk chocolate that we carry, 
One, I love chocolate. It's just delicious, but it's a higher dose. It's 15 milligrams of Delta 9 and 15 milligrams of CBD. Now, if you are consuming Delta 9, whether you're in a legal state or a state like Texas, Delta 9 R's, the way it's legal really quickly is because it's derived from hemp still and under the by weight limit of 0.3%. If you're in a legal state, it's just derived from marijuana. You get a dispensary, that's it and done. Um, but it, so this right here, even though it's in Texas, it's very much going to act and react in your body much like an edible from a legal state. Dosage wise, this would equate more to a legal state if you use, let's say take five milligrams in a Colorado gummy, five milligrams in this is perfect. But comparing it to Delta 8, Delta 8 usually can take double the amount. So for me, if I'm taking five milligrams in Delta 9, I can probably handle 10 or 15 of Delta 8. Eight. Another product in the last one I'm going to feature is this one. It's our berry gummies and these are more of a micro dose. So they're two and a half milligrams of CBD and two and a half milligrams of THC. Some people do like just micro dosing during the day. Again, a micro dose is the correct definition and I'm going to probably butcher it, but essentially it's not your upper limit, but it's not like the absolute lowest limit. It's somewhere maybe around like the 20 or 30 percent that just helps you coast you feel like a small small smidge of something but maybe you don't quite know what it is or what it feels like that is a microdose and it just kind of helps you mitigate throughout the day without feeling so out of body without you feeling so out of it and a lot of people nowadays are really gravitating towards microdosing but even more so in that ratioed product because again any cbd usually as long as it's a higher milligram of it will help counteract that and just give you that more mellow flow almost like i would say like uh i would describe like a microdose if you're someone who consumes alcohol as a half to a full beer versus like three or four beers those are two very different experiences as well you can feel maybe just more relaxed after a glass of wine or you know a beer you maybe have like a girl's night out when you finish a whole bottle so it's all about who you are, what you're looking for, making sure you're finding quality products, making sure you're finding the right dosage, the right consumption method. And if you have any questions, please comment below or reach out to us directly. You can always follow us on Instagram at RestartCBD. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notifications so you do not miss a video. And then of course you can shop online. So head to RestartCBD.com. All the information will be in the description link below. Have a great day and see you in the next one.